Hi Doug, how are you doing? I know you're a busy, busy man. There's a little quietness here. There's no boats going by. I am in Krabby, Thailand, and I decided to take just a moment to come out. You know, I've been trying to talk to you for a few years now, and you're so busy. So, no problem. I understand. I just posted a couple videos where I thank you for the mentoring uh, in my life that you have done, especially through video and through AVCO and Amazing Facts. Thank you so much. I really look up to you, admire you, and appreciate your ministry and the work that you've done and that you continue to do. This message is a private message. No, let me make a correction. This is a personal message, but not a private message. I'm going to put it out there on YouTube um, because... You know, I've tried for a long time to talk to you, and it just hasn't happened. I've talked to Bonnie so many times, and and uh, I just have, I don't know, you're busy, obviously. So you were in, you're either in Maryland or you're in another country or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you here. And uh, if you get this, maybe you could just message me and say, I got your video. Well, it's just basically this. You know, I... I have thought and thought and thought and cried and cried and tears have fallen when I think about the loss of your son. And I think about the pain that I would go through to lose my own son. And I knew, I knew Micah. Maybe not too well, but I remember when you were jumping across the stage in a, in a Smokey the Bear suit, I believe or a teddy bear or something like that in Reading and I sat with with Micah um, he was there and in fact he told me that that was you inside the bear suit that's how I knew so that was interesting um, I just I'll try not to get emotional the thought of losing a son is so Hard. I am so close to my son, and uh, and I just my heart has gone out to you in thought and in prayer during that time and ever since. And so, as my son grew up, I I thought you know I, I'm going to tell Doug I'm gonna I'm gonna give him my son. He can have my son. He, obviously, that's not. It's just almost stupidity to even say that. But just, you know, I mean, hear my heart. Obviously, you can't give someone your son. He's my son, and, and he loves me. I'm his father. But I just wanted to, to let you know that I love you and appreciate you so much. And I felt so bad that um, I had that thought. And then time went by years went by and then I found out my son is dating someone up at your place and you know I, I had a couple conversations with my son and he was showing me a picture oh look at this this was Micah's Hobie cat I believe sailboat and and I could see my son stepping into some of the the footsteps of your son and but that is very odd that I had those thoughts and then my son is stepping into same same footsteps as your son actually literally at the same spot in the same place on your land and you know I I just wanted to tell you you know give my my sympathy and love in your direction and let you know that um, if there's anything that my son can do to be a blessing to you in your life. Um, I certainly, and I have never told my son this, and my feelings about this, but maybe if he sees this, he'll know. But anyway, um, I've encouraged Brendan over the years to trust you, to love you, to look up to you, to go to you for, for counsel and advice, and I just wanna thank you for that, and uh, ask you to pray for our family, uh, obviously, you know we're going through some very, very difficult times with, with Brendan, and um, not that he's a bad boy. No, it's just there's some misunderstandings and some difficulties that I don't think you or I are 
anyone but God really knows. And uh, so I'll be over here in Asia. Um, you know, I, I believe the Lord's coming is very, very near. And we need to do everything in our power, spend all of our time sharing God's love through a message of hope, through uh, the truths that we have and hold and know as Seventh-day Adventists, the understanding of Scripture and an in-day uh, prophetic message as you have helped to bring out so nicely. And, uh, noisy boat. Anyway, God bless you, Doug. Keep up the good work. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.